Willis was born on August 14, 1883 in Charleston, South Carolina. He was an African-American biologist and educator. He pioneered many areas on the physiology of development, including fertilization, experimental pathogenesis, hydration, cell division, dehydration in living cells, and ultraviolet car carcinogenic radiation effects on cells. His parents were Charles Frazier and Mary Matthews Jess. At the age of 17, Ernest left home to pursue better educational opportunities in the North. He won a scholarship to the Kimball Union Academy in Vermont, New Hampshire. He was the only black student. He later went on to Third Mouth College, just found his interest in biology after reading a paper on fertilization and egg development. He was a bright student, earning the highest grades in his class. He graduated so magna cum laude in 1907, also receiving honors in biology, sociology, and history. Upon graduation, he accepted a teaching position at Howard University. He began to do research alongside Dr. Frank Lilly as his assistant. He was a part of the Department of Zoology and later the Department of Physiology at Howard's College of Medicine. Just obtained his doctoral degree of philosophy from the University of Chicago, where he studied experimental embryology and he graduated magna cum laude. In 1912, he married Ethel Highwarden, and they had three children, Margaret, Highwarden, and Marable. In 1915, Ernest became the first <clears throat> recipient of the Spinar Medal of the NWACP for his outstanding work in science. Just continued to teach at Howard University and spent his summers doing research at Wood Hole until 1929. He published a number of scientific, uh, scientific articles which led him to being elected to several professional societies, including the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the American Society of Geologists, and the American Ecological Society. Despite his professional achievements, Dr. Just felt the humiliation and the limitations imposed by racism at the Marine Biological Laboratory. After receiving a large five-year grant from the Rosenwald Foundation in 1928, Just left for Italy. There, he developed strong relationships with European scientists. Over the next 10 years, he traveled back and forth to Europe to conduct research at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Berlin, Germany, and later at a biology institute in France. He and his wife divorced in 1939, and a few months later, he married his second wife, Hedwin Schnitzner, a German biologist. Later, they had a child named Elizabeth. In 1940, Dr. Just health began to decline and he decided to return to teach at Howard University. On October 27, 1941, he passed away of pancreatic cancer. He is buried at the Lincoln Memorial Cemetery in Suitland, Maryland. Ernest Evers Just, legacy of accomplishments, followed him long after his death.